So I've been collecting questions and comments I found on the internet from Etsy sellers who are frustrated with their lack of results when it comes to Etsy SEO. It's kind of a weird hobby of mine to collect those. Anyway, here's one of my favorites so far. It said, why is Etsy SEO so bloody hard? It seems we can never get a clear answer from Etsy or anyone else. Great question. If you've been asking yourself the same question, which is why or oh why does Etsy SEO seem so difficult? This is the video for you. Let's dive in. Bonjour, my name is Deb and I'm the founder of Tizit Deco, a membership community for makers and handmade shop owners just like your fabulous self. You can learn more about our community Tizit HQ via the link below this video. But for now, let's jump straight into today's conversation. Why is Etsy SEO so hard? I love this question. There is so much to unpack. To start, why is Etsy never telling us exactly how things work? Well, I'd first argue that out of the many platforms out there, Etsy does put a lot of effort into telling us as much as they possibly can about how their platform and algorithm work. Key phrase, as much as they possibly can. They will never spill all the beans because the moment they share exactly how the algorithm works, many sellers would do their absolute best to game the system and skew the result in their favor to you know, always appear on page one. So we know enough, like the seven criteria that come into your rank, for example, but not quite the full story, like how much each of these criteria weighs overall. Okay, the next thing is, why is all the advice out there never straightforward? Put simply, because although around 80% of what impacts the performance in search results on Etsy can be thought and explained in a way that applies to every shop and every listing, the remaining 20% is much more nuanced and will vary for each listing and each shop. This is why when someone asks, for example, is it okay if I repeat this keyword or should I focus on high volume of search or high click-through rate? The answer will always be, it depends. Etsy SEO requires you to look at different elements in context so you can make the best decision for every individual listing and situation. 80% of Etsy SEO is easy copy-paste formula done next and 20% is critical thinking and that's the bit that can feel hard. Let me give you two examples of what this means. The first is about repeating keywords. You might know that repeating keywords unnecessarily between your tags and titles or in your title is not super helpful because it often sounds and is keyword stuffed and it is a missed opportunity to use a synonym or a different keyword instead and to have more keyword variety for a broader reach and better chances of being found by more people. In short, instead of using, for example, small notebook and blue notebook, why not say small notebook and blue journal, giving you a chance to be found for the keywords journal and notebook instead of repeating notebook twice. But <laughs> there are definitely some cases where instead of going for variety, you might decide to go for a repetition instead. For example, in some cases, it might make more sense to exact match a keyword multiple times and give it more weight versus adding a different keyword, especially if that keyword you would add isn't being searched at all. That's why the rule is don't repeat keywords unnecessarily. The most important skill to learn is to know when it's unnecessary and when it might be warranted. And that's always going to be a decision made case per case, listing per listing, keyword per keyword. If you've taken the Etsy SEO Blueprint course, you know that when we get to writing titles and tags, there's a full step that's all about assessing repetitions, which teaches you how to think about them so that you can decide for yourself what to keep and what to get rid of. There is no perfect answer that is applicable to every situation, but it is possible to learn how to decide what to do in each case for each particular listing. That's the skill you want to develop that will make SEO a heck of a lot easier for you. If you haven't taken that course, I'll put a link to it below, so make sure to check it out. Okay, here is another example of how a successful Etsy SEO strategy is about thinking critically and always, always looking at things in 
context. One keyword alone doesn't make a successful SEO strategy. And these days, as you probably know, finding a keyword that's got, you know, high searches, low competition, high engagement, high click-through rate, high amount of clicks, and is also being searched for consistently across the year is just super rare. <laughs> I actually call these keywords unicorn keywords. They're lovely and all, but they're just a very rare site, right? The majority of your keywords will be a bit meh. You know, some will have a good search volume, but not a, such a great engagement. Others will have low competition, but not a lot of people searching for them. Some will have a low amount of search, but really decent engagement and be consistently searched for through the year. And some will be quite long tail while others will be pretty broad it's going to be a mixed bag. This is why when you create your keyword strategy, you need to be able to take a look at things in context. The idea is that your keywords work together at the listing level to complement each other. One keyword weakness is another keyword strength and overall they play well together so that you have a healthy keyword mix at the listing level. And taking this one step higher from the listing level to the shop level, you need to look at how each listing keyword strategy works with your other listings at the shop level to form a comprehensive strategy and cover all your bases. This is another important step we teach you in the Etsy SEO Blueprint course. You can't stay too focused on an individual listing or an individual keyword. You have to learn to think and look at things in context. So where does that leave you? To be successful with Etsy SEO, you need to understand how to think about its SEO the right way. You need to understand the thought process behind the decisions you'll need to make. I'm sure you've heard this before. Catch a man a fish and he will eat for a night. Teach a man to fish and he will eat forever. If you want to learn how to fish, my absolute best recommendation as we dive into things in much more detail is to check out the Etsy SEO Blueprint course available over at tizit.co. It will teach you how to not just understand the 80% foundation of how Etsy SEO work, but most importantly, it will teach you how to think critically about Etsy SEO, those 20% that when you don't get clarity on, makes you feel like Etsy SEO is hard. Once you understand though the thought process behind all the decisions you'll need to make for each keyword and for each listing, is when you really start feeling empowered about your Etsy SEO strategy, confident, and also you start to get results and more sales, which is the most important. So make sure that you check the link below for uh, the course information. If you're already a TZHQ member, it's included in your membership. Bingo. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you soon. Au revoir.